Jeff Trapp says, a prospect gave me a $500 deposit to review his tax returns. Do I do incentive-based pricing when I pitch the tax plan on our follow-up call? 100% yes. So in this example, let's say you have the first meeting, right? The first meeting, this is the first appointment, which is the strategy session. First appointment you know, is the strategy session. Strategy uh, session, OK? And you know, you got basically a $500 deposit and you did not give a price because you're like, well, you know, I don't have enough information. I really can't tell how I could save money on taxes. So I want to be able to basically, you know, have a second follow-up call and review your return. Okay, wanted to do that. And then, you know, the second appointment, second appointment, we have the actual, what I call a check-in call. And if you guys check the strategy session script, in week three, I actually have a short script for that check-in call because, you know, tensions are high. I mean, you've got a $500 deposit, you've reviewed the stuff for the person, you want to do a great job, but, you know, everybody's nervous when they do these calls. So I wanted to make sure I had a check-in script specifically for that second call. Okay, now on that second call, let's say Jeff's trap's price is going to be $7,500. He says that it's $9,500, but for anybody that makes a decision on the call, you take off 2000 and that makes it 7500 right 7500 but we also apply the $500 deposit so really it's just 7000 for the person to move forward and you know you go through that right there and absolutely you still do the incentive based pricing cuz even though they're on deposit there's no reason for them to make a decision on that call and then you get into three call four call land and I don't mind that so much for people that are on deposit but it's also just not worth your time. You know, we had a guy sign up this or earlier this week where he did a deposit, and so therefore one of my people allowed him to come to the office, and I met with him for an hour in the office, and then it's like he was like, oh, you know, he didn't didn't know if he wanted to sign up. He did actually end up signing up, but it's just not even worth your time to do two meetings really. And so I I, I generally like these check-in calls to be 30 minutes, uh, hour on the first one, 30 minutes on the second, done. Like that needs to be a decision at that point. Uh, so yes, great question, and I would recommend still doing incentive-based pricing.